Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional. A clutter coach and professional organizer, Julie also offers tips to help you get clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. The holidays are a great time to examine the just becauses. No matter if you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or winter solstice, you're more than likely to have been a victim to this. Here are some examples of just becauses. You have turkey for Christmas dinner just because that's what your family did growing up. However, you want to start a new tradition of cooking Italian but feel guilty you're letting a family tradition go. You have to buy for everyone in your extended family just because that's how it has always been. But you're spending money you don't have and it leaves you stressed out and in debt and you're not sure anyone likes or needs the gifts you buy. Aunt Maple will be upset if you don't have a slice of a world famous triple chocolate pumpkin pie just because she slaved all day in the kitchen, but you're committed to eating healthier and not going completely overboard. You really want to slow down and savor the season, but just because you've always gone to your neighbor's open house, you feel obligated despite the fact that they leave you exhausted and drained. Here are some areas that I see my clients get overwhelmed and some possible solutions. Remember, these scenarios and the one I just mentioned are a form of emotional and spiritual clutter. There's always one person that creates drama and sucks the joy out of everything, and they just create drama and are a pain in the butt. Here are some potential solutions. Someone talks with them and explains their behavior won't be tolerated and they'll be asked to leave. Or you can assign a person, I suggest the one with most patience or the best sense of humor, to keep an eye out for them and to keep them out of trouble. You don't have to invite them or you don't have to attend an event where they'll be. Spend time with people who nourish you and fill your soul. Buying more than you can afford and waking up in January with a credit card hangover or diminished bank account. Here are some solutions. Discuss with your family and friends. Many probably feel the same way and will be relieved at your suggestion. In my family, the generation above buys for the generation below. My brothers and I no longer exchange gifts. It doesn't diminish how much we care about each other, but it was a solution we were all happy to come up with. Some big families pick one person to give a gift to. Why not make this year a re-gift theme and let go of something you don't want that will bring someone else joy? Remember, if someone cares that much about how much you spend or the gift is really important, is that really someone you want to be friends with? Don't forget to keep a running budget so you don't overspend. Another item to dust that really isn't your style or taste, but you didn't want to offend the gift givers. Here are some solutions. Buy experiences, concert tickets, plays, a trip. Donate to a charity the gift recipient would love. Give memberships to a gym or club. Make your own. You can knit, put together ingredients for soup or cake, offer your babysitting or culinary services. Overindulging and overextending yourself and eating, entertaining, and festivities and regretting it before, during, and after. Here are some solutions. It's a great time to start a self-care routine if you don't have one already. Find a buddy that can help you stick to in moderation. Say no to what you don't want to do. Have a potluck instead of an elaborate party. Volunteer at a soup kitchen or charity. Go out to eat and concentrate on family and friends. Do something you want instead of being sucked into pressure or guilt. The holidays are about connecting, celebrating gratitude and your religious or spiritual beliefs, not about Black Friday deals, feeling overwhelmed and running around like crazy. I want to offer you some exercises to do for the just because. Make a list of what you've liked about the holidays in the past and what you didn't like. Also include something that you think you might enjoy doing. Here's a take action item for you. Where can you eliminate a just because? And if you're looking for extra credit this season, examine another area in your life where you do something just because. For example, you're friends with someone who always takes from you and never gives back just because you've been friends for 20 years. Is there another just because you can let go of? Like many things in life, this is a process. Celebrate where you are able to make changes and commit to making more changes in the future. Wishing you and yours an incredible season filled with much love, happiness, and joy. May all your dreams come true in 2015. And remember, go out, clear some clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Thanks for joining us on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. You can find out more about Julie Caraccio and her services at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. We'll see you here next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, 
The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.